certainly looked to be nervous time for both players here. Four games all, second set. You're right, and that's been the question mark, hasn't it, Tony? Over Jan Novotner over the years, whether she can hold a nerve here on the most famous court in the world. Fifteen love. Onto the stronger side for Hingis just turns and whips this thing cross court. Well, a lot of people you'd see run around their backhand to hit a forehand. Not Martina Hingis. Not today, anyway. It's 30 50. You've got to say about both these girls, you know, even when you think you get a bad call, they mightn't like it, but they certainly both just get on with it. Well, they've both been quoted as saying, you know, you know you're going to get some, and it's just part of the deal. That's a good play by Novotna because she's been taking the backhand and hitting a cross court and coming in, and this time she steps around a forehand, hits a forehand down the line. Break point now for Novotna. And if she can convert, she'll be serving for the match. Breaks and leads 5-4. Second set, she's won the first. Been to the finals twice. And Yana Novotna is now serving for the match to try to get a place in the finals. As she did last year where she lost to this player, to Martina Hingis. And it'll be interesting to see how well she serves in this particular game. Thank you. Well, it's the moment of truth, isn't it, Tony? Right here. You can see this lines people's skirts are blowing. It's just a gusty time out there. Hingis is not getting that ball deep enough, so Novotna can rally a little bit, wait for a short ball, and then come in and put the onus on Hingis. had some kick. They had good safety coming over the net and a good jump a little bit. A good Thirteen. solid volley. So 30 love. She's two points from the spot in the finals. She's been effective with a slice serve out to the Hingis forehand in this court. Three match points now for Novotna. Three seed Yana Novotna 
upsets number one seeded Martina Hingis 6-4, six, 6-4. Four, six, four. And Liz Smiley, a, a very, very solid match by Novotna. It sure was. Jan yeah, Novotna was a lady on a mission today, trying to dispel any bad memories she'd had from this court. Receiving a standing ovation from the packed center court here. Really is pretty happy with herself. Played an incredibly smart match, very courageous. Had do what she had. To, she did what she had to do. She mixed it up to Hingis. She served and volleyed a bit. She stayed back. Uh, Hingis we certainly didn't see a player best, but um, it was a hell of a match. So 29-year-old Jana Novotna moves into the finals, and she will play 30-year-old Natalie Tozia of France in the finals here at Wimbledon on Saturday. All the hype for the youngsters. And two of the very experienced players have gotten through a, an upset, uh, but not totally a surprise because Jana Novotna is a very experienced grass court player. And for the third time in her career, 13 times here at Wimbledon, she is in the final. And everyone is extremely delighted. And we'll take a break. First Wimbledon final in the singles. I'd played two doubles before, but in the singles, I went out there and I said, oh no, everybody says I'll be more nervous, I won't be. I started off the match, the umpire said play. I was so nervous I could hardly hold the racket. Well, let's listen to the applause as the two players come out onto centre court. How deafening is the applause when you come out for this? I mean, do you really hear it all? It's just the little things, Ken. When you walk out there, you're walking out with flowers in your hands and not your rackets. This is different. Yeah. And, and it, it, it throws you off. And if Natalie had some really good advice, somebody would have told her before and run her through what was going to happen. Now, you're not going to walk out with your rackets. You'll walk out with flowers. This is how you'll feel. It'll be strange. So imagine it in your mind so it's, it doesn't seem like it's the first time. Yeah, I don't think you can block the crowd out. I think you have to soak up the atmosphere and say, all right, I know, you know, this is the greatest tournament in the world. It's the final. This is it. You have to soak it up. You can't just try and block it out because then I think your nerves will just intensify. Well, Liz, thank you very much for your comments, and you too, John. We look forward to a great final here today on Centre Court at Wimbledon. And to call the action, here is the one and only Fred Stolley and Betsy Nagelson. Thank you, Ken. And, uh, well, what a walk that was, Betsy, to come out there with the flowers. As John Newcomb said, that job now, it's tradition that uh, you have the head locker room attendant come out with the flowers with the girls and uh, with the guys, you just come out without any flowers. The guys don't carry the flowers, but the, your bags and all that... The locker room attendant, well, they're barely able to get out there with the bags that they carry these days. But what a moment. This is either going to be tears of joy or tears of frustration for Jana Novotna, who's the number three seed, as she takes on Natalie Tosiat, who is the 16th seed at the championships. And uh, there they are with Jane Harvey, the chair umpire, Alan Mills, who's the referee, who's been responsible for getting everything done here as far as the scheduling's concerned. And the toss of the coin, Novotna looks as though she's won the toss and probably will serve, Betsy. And what a moment this is really for both players. Um, Jana Novotna has been in this position before. She's three times been to a Grand Slam final, twice right here at Wimbledon. Lot losing to Steffi Graf back five years ago when that image of her crying on the Duchess's shoulder is pretty strong in people's memories. And, and uh, losing to Hingis last year when she was injured with a pulled stomach muscle and still went three sets. And you just get the feeling that this is really her, this is destiny for Jana Novotna to win Wimbledon. That is Betty Stova. She was a Wimbledon finalist back in 77, the year Virginia Wade won. In front of her is Francoise Dur from uh, France. She was a semi-finalist here, Hanna Mandelkova, who is the coach of Jana Novotna. And she has been the coach of Novotna since uh, 90. And of course, a Grand Slam champion herself, Hannah Manlikova. Never did win Wimbledon, won everything else, was twice a finalist here. And it was Betty Stove who coached Manlikova. And so she's very interested in this happening today. Yana Novotna is currently ranked number three. She has uh, enjoyed the number two position in the world. That's the Duchess there who uh, is so friendly with Novotna, and she's hoping that uh, the quote of the Duchess of Kent is that uh, three times lucky will come true today. 
And whether it does, uh, it didn't make any difference to me. I lost them three times in a row there, whether th third time lucky. So uh, the experience of going out there and anybody that says they walk out to the centre court and do not get nerves for a final is kidding themselves because you really do need to get a little bit pumped up. And I agree with the fact that uh, getting out there and exercising with a soccer ball uh, is a little <laughs> bit different. It's a, a di different uh, way to sort of prepare for the final. You can see Novotna's right-handed. There's her match record this year, 30 four and nine born in Bruno Czech Republic and resides in uh, Belgium that she spends quite a bit of time in Czech Republic now look at the prize money there just short of nine nine million dollars it'll go over the nine million dollar mark this week now the only thing these two have in common the fact that they very rarely go to Australia and play the Australian Open the last four years Tosiat has stayed uh, at home and uh, worked out to get herself ready for the clay court season in Wimbledon. Novotna has done it for the last three years. There's the results in Australia. The last time she played down there was 95. And uh, so she stays over here to get prepared because of the long season. The results at the uh, French Open for Novotna. Semi-finalist there in 90 and 96. Quarter finalist there this year and started that run in 1989. US Open semi-finalist in 94, quarter-finalist 90, 95, 96, 97. So Jana Novotna has the game to win here. They're the results, runner-up twice in the semi-finalist in 95. But the head-to-heads uh, don't really give you too much. And both players uh, have a lot of respect for the other's game because they do want to get to the net, and I think that's where the battle will be fought from. Well, there's no question that you have two uh, of the best grass court players meeting in the finals. We look at some of Natalie Toziat's statistics. She is currently ranked 15. Her highest is 11, and she had achieved that just earlier this year. She did crack the top 10, and at 30 years old is playing the best tennis of her life. Right-handed, and she's had a, you know, a, a, only a moderate year, really, uh, in terms of some results, but uh, toward the end of last year, she had a, a terrific end of the season, made the championships and beat, beat a couple of seeds she was born in uh, in Africa and lived there until she was six years old and and moved to France uh, when she was eight years old and uh, has some terrific looking earnings three million over three million dollars in her career and a lot of that has been made in doubles as well See the results starting off uh, in Australia as they go through the Grand Slam results but it's interesting to note that there's no player seated lower than number nine has ever won a Grand Slam championship in the Open era. And uh, Natalie Toziat is seated number 16 here. The player that achieved that was uh, last year at Roland Garros was Eva Maioli. And she really hasn't been able to handle the pressure of winning that Grand Slam title. She has had a very poor season this year. Yeah. Natalie Toziat likes to serve and volley yeah. and uh, proved in the last match against uh, uh, Natasha Zvereva that uh, she came back in the third set and she was the one that became the aggressor. Zvereva went into a shell after being very close to the finishing line as a winner. I think also one of the things that uh, cannot be overlooked about uh, Tozia is just what a competitor she is. I mean she is a fighter and she got beaten badly uh, in the first set against Zverev. I think she only won eight points in that first set, but uh, and she she really could have gone yep. away being on the center court yep. first time ever Grand Slam semifinal, but she didn't. She hung in there and she really pulled her game together. And, um, you know, on paper, this looks very much like a Novotna win. And I think uh, as the sentimental favorite, everyone would love to see her finally yep. really almost get what she deserves as a, a Wimbledon win. They Novotna and Wimbledon really do seem to to go together. But she, to, in order to win today, she's yeah. really going to have to play her best. Yeah, I don't think you deserve anything. I, I agree with Nuke there. You've got to go out and, and play and win it. If the nerves are, are not sufficient to get you through, then so be it. But uh, I, I yeah, would I like to see Yeah, I just mean she's one of the best players her win. never to have won a yeah, Grand Slam. Exactly. And uh, she, you know, she's been to the semifinals or better in every single one. And it would just be terrific to see her get a Grand Slam title. Uh, Natalie Tosiat is the... Uh, First French woman in the Wimbledon singles final since Susan Longlaw. And uh, Longlaw in 1925, that's 73 years ago. And Longlaw was undefeated at Wimbledon during the years uh, 1919 to 1923. 
and then won it in 1925. That uh, is Jane Harvey, who is a very experienced chair umpire. Actually, I think this is her third women's final here. And uh, she's uh, umpired five Grand Slam finals. I'd like to welcome our Adelaide viewers to the finals of the Lady Singles here at Wimbledon between Jana Novotna and Natalie Toziat from France. Novotna seated three. Uh, their players have just about finished their warm-ups, so you folks in Adelaide didn't have to go through that. They're all ready to go, pretty much, in this final. They play as the chair umpire, Jane Harvey, has called time. And uh, it's strange what happens when they call time. Now the players go and sit down. Uh, normally they used to call time and you'd pick up the balls, throw them back at the ball kids and, and go. Now they call time and the players come back and sit down and uh, get themselves ready. Attendance on the 11th day yesterday, 28,257, a record actually for the 11th day. Uh, up about 1,740. But the aggregate so far for the championships is down 15,500. They've had over 370,000 folks walk through the turnstiles here. Mr. So, to serve. by all in all, a very successful Play. event. They're ready to go in the ladies' singles final. Tozzi had to serve. I don't know whether the girls would like this, Betsy, but the Novotna Tosiat final is the oldest final on aggregate age since 1977. And that was uh, when uh, Betty Stover, who we've seen in the player stand, played against Virginia Wade. Lots of uh, press over the last month or so with all the youngsters coming through, the Williams sisters, Hingis, Kornikova. But here we are with two veterans in 15. the final. And a nervous start, double fault. And the second point, very tentative serve, 15 all. Uh, well played, and that's a, exactly what you're going to see Natalie Tozzi trying to do all day today. She'll move in behind her first and second serve quite often. She, and she's just very good at the net, it, just very athletic, does cover the net very well. Thought you would talk about the age, the ages of these two finalists, and it, I think it also says something about playing on this surface. Uh, you can't just get away with hitting the ball very hard, and and I mean, you need experience, you need finesse, you need to use your head, you need strategy and tactics, oh! and experience. And certainly, these two players have experience. This is the 43rd Grand Slam for each player, and they've been coming here to Wimbledon for 13 years. there for Novotna, so maybe it is her day. She gets a net cord which sets up the 13, first 40. break point. And the opening service game from Tozziat. I think the interesting aspect of this is the slice backhand from Novotna through to the backhand where she normally plays it across to the backhand of Tozziat. Tozziat's uh, backhand pass I think is her best shot. That was a good play from Novotna in the opening stages just to test the nerves Jeez. of Toziat. Throw up a lob there. Not quite deep enough, though. You, you won't see Novotna hit over her backhand, no. uh, if at all, uh, certainly. And very, very rarely she slices it or she'll throw up a defensive lob like that off that backhand side. Again, the lob volley. That's got to give Toziat a little bit of uh, confidence That's right there. She, she did say, Natalie Toziat, she said, I'm not going to make the same, same mistake I, I made in the semifinals. I'm going to get off to a much better start. And she certainly has. Game point. Well, 
Well, we said she doesn't come Andy over a backhand, and in the first game, she tried to do that off the back foot, hit it to Wimbledon. And it is Jana Novotna, her first service game of this, the 1998 Ladies Singles Championship match. And a double fault. Love 15. So, the nerves, it doesn't matter who you are, play a big part the first few games in a final. That's a great diving volley from Toziat. And Novotna said it in her interview, the battle would be Love fought 30. from the net, and Toziat is the one that's been sneaking in there. Way behind the baseline is Novotna, and Toziat stretches for that. Love 30. Petra, you talk about a much quicker start for Toziat. Mm. Big opportunity here. Mm -hmm. Just like that, it's three break points for Toziat. First service game of Novotna. Love footy. You know, Toziat is, Novotna hasn't faced a real servant volleyer. I mean, she beat Hingis in the semis, and Hingis doesn't come in all that much. Venus Williams in the quarters. Venus will come in, but isn't a real natural servant volleyer. And Toziat is. I played, interestingly enough, a statistic here that amazes me is that Toziat 15, leads 40. the ace race yeah. in the women's singles. She's 26. 26 aces. And you think about uh, Venus Williams, Serena Williams, you think about the top girls that are in there, Novotna, and here is Toziat with the top figure. Still break points. She's also served 24 double faults. I mean, she really does go for that serve. She has very little spin on it, so not a lot of margin for error. Thirty footy. Saved a couple of them. Yeah, and I think Novotna will try to uh, exploit the forehand side of Toziat. I mean, she has a super backhand, very safe. She can come over it. She can slice it. That forehand side of hers is the more vulnerable one. All right, three chances gone. Juice. Papers over here can be vicious. Before the tournament started, they went through some of the top players, and Novotna obviously one of them, age 29. She's a check, and it says, prediction. On paper, she is a dead cert. In reality, well, it has not happened so far. Two doubles and one game. Sets up another break point. Nirvana got off to a pretty slow start against Hingis. I mean, she lost the first nine points. She was down love three and love 40 on her serve and held on to that game, saved five break points, and that really turned the complexion of that match. Game is Toziat. Toziat. Sneaky little drop shot there, forced Novotna to come forward. She couldn't make it. Toziat leads two games to love. And the score is called from Jane Harvey to love. That was called a not up. And, uh, well, a positive start for very Toziat. Very positive, yeah. And I don't think, you know, Novotna. Is going to be too troubled by it? I mean, she's... No. She... Well, they've played one another enough times. It's a Wimbledon final, so a little bit of nerves for the first four or five games. But uh, as far as worrying about how the other one plays, uh, with their head-to-heads and the closeness of some of their matches, they pretty much know what to expect. Yeah. Six of those eight matches were played, though, uh, more than five years ago, so yeah. it's almost irrelevant. Winner here of the championship, the lady singles, will take home about 654,000 US dollars. And the runner-up, 327,000 US dollars, plus the various trophies that they will uh, will get. 15 all. There's another ace. The did not like the call. 
but she's not going to argue at this stage. She uh, don't want to get too upset very early. And the uh, looked as though might have got the yep. uh, outside edge. First ace of the match for either player, and that takes Toziat's total of 27 for the tournament. Just wide. 30-15. Uh, a lot of folks have said, well, can Novotna self-destruct in this situation? And uh, by her own admission, she says, hey, I've learned a lot the last few years. I don't think that's going to happen. Well, she's had a very inauspicious start at the moment. 30-15. If you were just a, 40, an average tennis fan, you'd thought that the most experienced player out there who's handling things a lot better at the moment is Toziat. And it is her first Grand Slam final appearance. 40-15. Oh. That's the most positive point so far from Novotna. 40-30. point from Novotin and she's trying to pump herself up right here Jeez. and she'll be all over any second serve that she uh, gets today. Yeah this is a big game for both players here because uh, Toziat you can see there taking a deep breath wanting to extend this lead to three love to consolidate that uh, early break. Novotna, this can really pump her up from coming back from 40 love. If she breaks here, then uh, the momentum switches and she has been much more positive in the last four or five points. A break point chance. There it is. Missed the backhand. Tells you that. The chairman of the All England Club, John Curry, there sitting as uh, he is host to various dignitaries throughout the world as well as royalty. He's done a super job. Novotna serving. Last check to win a Wimbledon title as a check was Martina Navratilova in 1979, who won a second Wimbledon. And that apparently was her last Grand Slam title as a Czech citizen. As you know, she became an American citizen. Look at this replay. Conflicting reports there, though, because I just spoke to Jan Kodesh prior to coming up to the booth, and he said, hey, Martina, when she won all her titles, was an American citizen, and he was the last Czech 25 years ago in 1973. Holders of a Czech passport to win the championship. Fifteen all. Fifteen all. Also said about Novotna in the